There are dozens of armor pieces in Grounded, but not all are created equal. Some have special uses while not providing very much defense, while others come in full sets providing specific buffs. In this video, I'll rank every piece of armor currently available in Grounded. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now is a great time to do so so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, there's tons of different pieces of armor in Grounded. What I did was I crafted each piece of armor and placed them on an armor dummy. So in the front row on each side, you're going to see the pieces that are not full sets. They are either one or two pieces that go together. And then in the back, we have the full sets of armor. So let's start by going through the individual pieces first. They're kind of the special use ones for now. And then we'll move on to the full sets. And what we're going to do is we're going to rank them from A through D, A being the best, of course, and D being the worst. So first up, we have the Might Hat. What we're going to do is we're going to look at our inventory here. We're going to look at the crafting screen here. So the Might Hat, pretty easy to make. You probably This will probably be one of the first uh, helmets you can make in the game. And it's going to give you hyper stamina, and it gives you a little bit of defense. And then down on the bottom, you're going to see we have the aphid slippers. This is another piece of armor that you can probably craft pretty early on in the game. And the aphid slippers here give you no defense, but they give you quickness. So what they do is they make you run a little bit faster. And these are easy to craft and make. So while the, the helmet does provide a little bit of usefulness, the slippers make you a little bit faster. They don't really do much for you. So I kind of feel like these are going to go into the uh, D class here because they're not really doing much for you in terms of uh, actual use. And there's other armors you can get early on that are going to be better. Next up on the list is going to be the eye patch. So the eye patch is a helmet piece. What the eye patch does is it gives you a di extra attack damage and extra attack stamina. So you'll be able to attack more often. But it also reduces the, or increases the amount of damage you're going to take. So it lowers your damage resist. And for that, for that matter alone, I don't really think it, the amount that it boosts is really worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that in the D category as well. Because it doesn't really have, in my opinion, I've never actually used this armor piece at all. So I don't think it's really useful. There's other sets, like I said, that can be uh, crafted much, much, that are much better early on. Next up, we're going to have another special use case here. We're going to have the gas mask. The gas mask adds a minimal, minuscule amount of defense. But what it does do is it allows you to go into the haze. And you can also wear it when you're attacking stink bugs so that you don't take poison damage from them. So... While it doesn't give you a ton of defense, it does have a little bit of utility, and it is definitely needed for doing the haze lap. So we're going to place that over in the C category right now. Now, fourth on our list is going to be the Firefly Headlamp. So the Firefly Headlamp you can get from the Lightning Bug pieces. And what this is going to do, it basically makes you be able to see in the dark. So instead of having to carry a torch or a slime, actually, I don't think you can even use it underwater. I think it can only be used above ground. So it's only really useful for going to like ant tunnels or if you're wandering around at nighttime which is kind of like not advisable considering the wolf spiders are wandering around the yard now and the nighttime is definitely more dangerous and it also provides no defense. So I think I'm going to place that also in the, I'll probably put it in the C category. It's more of a C minus. I wouldn't say it's a D because having light at nighttime can be helpful. So we'll put it in the C, but it's probably going to be at the very low end of the C category. Next up, we're going to have the gill tubes, which you will see here. These are going to be the first resource you can craft in order to explore the pond. Uh, it, they increase, so they're called, they give you Junior Diver. It increases your ability to hold your breath underwater. So you're going to need these in order to get the other resources to make the better underwater armor. It'll pro These are good enough to be able to get you down and to do the pond lab and also to gather the resources from the bottom of the pond, like the Boy Scales and the Sunken Bones. So while it doesn't provide any defense, it does have some utility. So we will place this alongside the gas mask probably like a c plus here then next up on our list we're going to have the rest of the the uh, underwater armor so we're going to have the bubble helmet which gives you veteran diver this increases your ability to hold your breath tremendously so basically once you get this you're never going to use the gill tubes and then at the bottom of this armor dummy we're going to have the fin flops the fin flops give you major swim speed, so they help you swim much faster underwater. So if you're doing underwater exploring in the pond, you're definitely going to want to have the fin flops, and you're going to want to have the uh, bubble helmet. Now, they don't give you any defense, which is a negative. Fortunately, underwater right now, the only real menace is going to be the diving bell spiders. They don't do a tremendous amount of damage, so if you have a decent chest piece, you'll probably be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in the B category. Probably on the, the lower side of the B category since they don't provide any defense, but they are definitely of the utilities uh, very good. And then the penultimate single uh, armor piece that's not part of a full set, it's going to be the marksman cap. If you like using ranged weapons like the sprig bow, the insect bow, or the new crossbow, you're going to want to probably use the marksman cap. 
It's crafted with a crow feather. It gives you plus bow attack, and it also provides a decent amount of defense. So while it's not part of a full set, if you're into using bows and you like take you like to uh, fight like wolf spiders specifically, as long as well as like the stink bugs and maybe the bombardier beetles from a distance, so you're not at risk of taking a ton of damage or potentially dying, you're gonna definitely want to use the marksman's cap. So I'm gonna give the marksman's cap a high B. It'll probably be like a B plus here. I'm gonna put it over to this side. So I guess we can say the left of the marker is going to be a plus to the to the right's going to be a minus. And then last but not least is the newest piece of armor. This is going to be the Mask of the Mother Demon. You get this from you can craft this after you kill the brood mother. Uh, she drops the pieces to make one of these. What it does is it has as of now I think it has the high yeah it has the, it has the it's tied for the highest defense. It also adds a poison coating to all of your attacks. So no matter which weapon you're using, you will inflict poison damage to the insects that you're fighting, or if you're doing PvP against other players, you're going to inflict them with poison damage. So this thing's definitely, well, hopefully in the future, maybe it becomes part of a full set so you can get that full bonus. It is uh, one of the, it's probably one of, it's the, it's the best helmet in the game that's not part of a, a full set. So we're going to put this in the uh, A category over here. And B, the only reason I'm going to put it in A- minus is because it's not part of a full set, but... Actually, we'll probably put it in the middle. We'll just make it an A right in the middle here. So now we're going to get to the full sets of armor. There's currently eight full sets of armor in the game. There's going to be more to come, obviously. If you watch the trailer for the Shroom and Doom update, there looked like there was some... Uh, it looked like almost like gladiator armor, which I'm suspecting is going to come from the roly-polies. Roly-polies, if you're not familiar, is a uh, term used to describe pill bugs, which are like the little armored-looking bugs that you can see possibly in your yard, depending on where you live. And there's also some ant armor in there. So in that in that uh, trailer, you're going to see some armor that looks like this ant armor, but it's darker. So it may be coming from black ants or some other type of ants. Maybe it's from the, the queen ant. I'm not sure. But those are still to come. So while, while we while wait for those, let's take a look at these. So first up, we have the clover armor. Now, the clover armor is probably going to be the first full set you can craft. It's very easily made from clover leaves and crude rope. You can find these right at the starting spawn area. And what they do is they each have the same buff. They give you the uh, fuller. So they allow you to they they dra it drains your hunger slower and also if, if you have all three of them you're gonna get the bonus you're gonna get the full bonus so you want to make sure if you're using them use the full the full bonus they give you a little bit of defense so they're better than having no armor at all but they don't i mean honestly early on they're okay but as soon as you can make better armor you're probably going to want to move up from them so because they give you a little bit of bonus we're gonna put them down here in the c category not the best not the worst but you're definitely probably going to use them early on then next up we're gonna have the grub armor I personally have never actually used these in the game, although I do think of the armors, they look among the coolest just because the goggles look pretty cool, especially considering you can also put them, if you're not aware, you can put the uh, grub, grub goggles on your pets as well. So if you have an aphid or a weevil. So what they do is they give you max stamina and they give you a little bit more defense. So they're pretty easy to craft. You make your way, while you're making your way over the oak tree or even in the grasslands, you can find grubs. But if you go over by the oak tree, You'll find some grubs. If you don't know where to find grubs, I do have a video for that. I'll leave a link for that down in the description below and put a card up top right now just in case you want to know where the best place to get grubs are. You can get tons of grubs. You can get enough to make this pretty simple, pretty quickly. You just need some raw weevil meat. So we got the goggles, and then we got the grub vest, and then, of course, we got the grub leggings. So they kind of make you almost look like a mummy a little bit because they are like they look like they're like mummy gear. But they have a little bit of defense, and they give you max stamina. And I know for me specifically, in all survival games, including grounded, I always have trouble managing my stamina. So... While they're not like super useful for defense, I will say that they are decent, and I'd probably put them at a B minus over here. So we'll put them right along here as a B minus. Really good early on, I would say. It's going to give you more defense than the clover, and it's also going to help you with that stamina if you have trouble managing it. Next up, we're going to have the ant armor. So the ant armor is another one you're probably going to be able to craft pretty early on because all you're going to need is uh, some ant parts. So what they do is they they give you a little bit of defense. So they give you less defense than the grub, but they give you hauling strength. So if you're building bases specifically out of grass or weed stems they allow you to carry if you have the full set you can carry up to eight pieces using this armor and then if you drink the i think it's the work workers comp smoothie you can actually carry i think 10 pieces but if you're just using this you'll be able to instead of carrying five pieces of grass or five pieces of weed stems or whatever combination either if you have all three a full set of this one you'll actually be able to carry eight so each piece lets you carry one extra piece of grass or weeds and like I said, they're pretty easy to craft because they're only made out of ant parts. Let's check the other parts because I think it's all just ant parts. So we got the ant arm guards, ant part, acid gland. You're going to get those from either the... Wor the acid glands come from either larva or from the uh, soldier ants. So you will have to take care of those, but they're usually pretty simple to take care of. And then the, the knee guards are... Yeah, so that's all ant parts. So you actually don't actually need to uh, fight 
very much if you t if you kill one one um one larva and then a bunch of like regular worker ants you should easily be able to craft this so it has some good utility it doesn't have a lot of defense so if you're building i would say it's going to be decent i'm going to put it down here because it has such low defense but as a utility for just building if you're building it probably move up a little bit but in general i'd say it's probably about a c plus it'd be a c plus or maybe like a really low b minus Next up is probably going to be the first decent gear you can get. This is going to be the acorn armor. Of course, you can get acorns mainly found around the oak tree. And the acorn armor, what it does is it gives you more max health. So all it's crafted out of is acorns, mite fuzz, and crude rope. And then down here, we're going to see the next piece is made out of, I believe, the same stuff. So we got acorn shells. Yeah, more max health. So again, if you have trouble staying alive or maybe if you're playing on higher difficulties, you might want to upgrade to the acorn armor as soon as possible. Probably definitely if you're going to try to get to the next, like, upgrade to the next sets of armor, you're going to definitely want to have this. This is probably the best, like, early game armor you can have. Since it gives you a decent amount of defense, it's also going to give you more health. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this over here. It's going to be, I think this is probably better than, it's better than Grub Arbor, obviously, but not quite in A tier. we got four left. Next up is going to be our Koi armor. So the Koi armor gives you the bonus of perfect block which allows you to get perfect blocks better so if you're trying to get that perfect block achievement that they just added to the game you might want to try this out it has a decent amount of defense and of course it's made out of koi fish scales and then other water um, resources that you can find so you're, you're going to need probably you're going to need at least the gill the gill um the gill tube in order to get the koi fish scales you're probably better off waiting until you get the um the bubble helmet because these are usually found in the depths of the pond and they can be you're, you're probably going to need to hold your breath a decent amount of time. So I'd recommend if you're trying to farm for this armor, you're going to want to make sure you have uh, the bubble helmet. Although you could, if you're good, at, if you're good enough, if you've been playing the game a long time, you're probably aware of where um, where to get the koi fish scales and as well as the sunken bones. You might be able to get away with just using the fin flops as well as the gill tube. And like I said, it has a decent amount of it has a decent amount of armor, but it doesn't quite have as much armor as is it actually? Let's say compared to the acorn, it's actually the same as the acorn. So let's put. I think I will put it equal to the acorn. So it's probably going to be right here in the uh, B plus territory. Decent. It looks pretty cool. I've never really used it myself. I tend to, when I get, actually, when I finish, I'll tell you what I tend to use. Next up, we're going to have the spider armor. So the spider armor is going to give you the quickness, which makes you run faster while you're uh, hunting. So I like to use this when I'm just running around hunting in the, in the uh, yard. In order to get this, you're going to need spider fangs to make the helmet. I think the other two pieces only require just uh, spider chunks. Let's check those out real quick. So spider chunk, berry leather. And then, of course, the leg pieces are going to also require just spider chunks. So in order to make the helmet, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to kill some wolf spiders. Um, I believe the wolf spider... I'm not sure. The wolf spiders drop one or two fangs. So you might have to kill one or two wolf spiders in order to get this. This armor's got the same defense as the ones we just showed. It also has the requirement of having berry leather, which the others did not require i don't believe let's check the, yeah the others did not require this so berry leather while it's easy to get if you don't have a lot of it you're gonna have to go farm it so it's gonna be a little bit more costly to up to uh repair these and i think it might have actually been i don't know th this one's kind of okay i wouldn't say it's great i probably put it on par with the others over here so we'll put it right here in the b plus category it's decent early game um i'd probably of these three prefer to use the acorn armor just because it gives you the same amount of defense and also gives you more max health which you might need early on, especially if you're trying to fight some wolf spiders. And then the second to last one is going to be the bee armor. So the bee armor is made, of course, from bee parts. This is going to give you sprint distance. It also has a higher defense, as you can see here. So it's a little bit higher than the spider hood. Actually, it's almost like a full point higher. Yeah, it's a full point higher here. So what is this? A one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, so it's about two, a little over two, while the spider is a little over one. And this is pretty easily crafted. Although the bee, you're gonna probably have to, you're gonna have to find a. If you go to the beehive, you'll be able to get plenty of bees in order to craft this stuff. So it's gonna require the bee parts and of course the berry leather. All the good armors require berry leather to craft. So this one's gonna give you allow you to sprint further. It's got better defense and overall it looks of the of the armors in the game currently it looks pretty cool. We're not gonna rate it based on its coolness looking, but we're gonna rate it based on its stats and its usefulness. So we're gonna put this in the A minus category. And then last but not least, I think this is the one that everybody probably knows is currently the best in the game. It's the one that most people are going to use right now. It's going to be the Ladybug Armor. The Ladybug Armor has the highest defense by a full point, so it's a little bit over 3. It's like 3.25 or something here. 
gives you extra blocking strength. So if you're fighting a Broodmother, you're fighting Wolf Spiders, you're fighting any of the bugs that do a, like a ton of uh, damage uh, in their hits, you can actually block their attacks much better. It's not too terribly hard to, ki uh, to craft, although early on getting Ladybug parts might be a little bit hard. But honestly... If you get the acorn armor and you get some, and you just have a bow and a bow, you'll probably be able to easily take care of the ladybugs. Or if you're playing multiplayer and you have two or three people, it shouldn't be hard to farm the, the ladybug parts. It also requires berry leather, and in this case, it requires a decent amount of berry leather to uh, equip. So that's pretty. I mean, this is pretty simple here. If you've played the game long enough, you're going to know that the currently, as we stand right now, the ladybug armor is going to be sitting up here as an A plus. It's the one I use mostly. So typically, when I progress through the game. What I end up doing is I'll normally craft the clover armor. The the is that what it's called? The clover armor? Yeah. The uh the clover armor. I'll craft the full set of clover armor right at the beginning. Then I will definitely craft some ant armor just because I like building bases. And then as soon as possible, I'm gonna make my way over to the oak tree in order to make the acorn armor. And then as soon as I'm able to get ladybug armor, that's pretty much all I use unless I'm building. Although now that actually looking at the stats, I think on my next playthrough, probably what I'll do is I'll probably try to get the Grub Armor as soon as possible because the Grub Armor does have a decent amount of defense and it's fairly easy to craft. Like I said, compared to the other early armors, it's actually decent. It's better than all of them. And it's going to be pretty easy to get because you just need Grub Hide and some uh, Raw Weevil Meat, which is not too terribly hard to get. So those are all the armors in the game currently. And uh, like I said, there's going to be more coming soon. As we saw in the trailer, there's going to probably be the roly-poly armor, which looks like the gladiator armor, as well as the some kind of new ant armor, either from a new type of ant, possibly a black ant, or from maybe from the queen ant that's supposed to be added at some point in the future. So hopefully we'll get those soon. That's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to smash the like button as it really helps my channel. If you want to support the channel even more, you can become a member by clicking the join button below or become a patron by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.